You are no match for my power. Man, there's no way you can beat me. Let's talk about fighting. Welcome back to day two of our youth devotions going through Philippians chapter four. My name is John. I'm the youth director here at Faith Church. And uh, while the coronavirus is trying to keep all of us apart, we're actually as a church trying to stay together in the word of the Lord by studying through the Bible together. So I hope you'll join us in that. So yesterday, we read in verse 1 of Philippians 4, Paul gave us this challenge to love our brothers and sisters, to, to remind them of how much we love them and miss them and uh, how proud we are of them. Then at the end of that verse, he said this challenge. He said, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. And now for the next eight verses, Paul is going to kind of flesh out what he means by stand firm in the Lord. And the first example he gives us is a fight. He talks about two women in the Philippian church that are fighting with one another. Let's read about it. It's Philippians 4 verses 2 and 3. I entreat Euodia and I entreat Syntyk to agree in the Lord. Yes, I ask you also, true companion, help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Isn't this interesting? So here are these two women, Euodia and Syntyche. How did those two names never catch on? I'll never know. But they're arguing, and we have no idea what the fight is about. It's probably over, like, whose name is cooler, I'm sure. And Paul uses this as an example for what it means to stand for. And it's kind of obvious what he's talking about, right? What, how do I stand firm in the Lord? I stand firm together with my brothers and sisters. I stand in unity. I stop fighting, right? It's been about a week since the coronavirus hit us all and caused us to have to spend a lot more close proximity time with our families, with our brothers, our sisters, our moms, dads, maybe grandparents. I'm willing to bet that if your family is at all normal, that there has been an increased tension since the coronavirus hit. Right? And there's because of this newfound closeness. Proverbs 25 verse 17 warns us by saying this, says, Let your foot be seldom in your neighbor's house, lest he have his fill of you and hate you. That's an interesting proverb, isn't it? Because unfortunately for us right now, this virus is causing us to have no choice but to keep our feet in our houses with our families, right? We have to be close. And there's bound to be tension, right? There's bound to be some fighting. So what are we going to do? Well, here's how Paul instructs the church. He says, I entreat these two women, agree in the Lord. There's that phrase that we saw yesterday in verse 1, in the Lord. The key to agreeing with each other is not to focus on one another. Because when we focus on one another, we are masters at finding problems. Amen? If I focus on another person, I am really good at finding everything wrong with them, every habit that annoys me and frustrates me. So instead, I need to look to the Lord, and I need to look at how God views this other person. Listen, if this is a Christian you're disagreeing with, remember this. That person's name is written in the book of life. That is somebody that the blood of Christ has been shed for. That person you're yelling at is someone Christ died for. Now, someone just said, yeah, but the person I'm arguing with is not a Christian. So, all right, well, maybe that's the case. Um, and if that is the case, then what you need to realize is who you are in the Lord. You're a believer. You're the, someone the Lord has loved, even though you were an enemy of God before. Matthew 6, 15, Jesus warned, hey, if you will not forgive others their sins, then the Father will not forgive your sins. But hey, what if you're in the house, but you're not a part of the fight? You're just an observer on the outside. You're not off the hook. Paul actually talks to the true companion, which is personal, and I think he makes it personal so he can help us realize, hey, we need to help. This is our obligation too. And he says, help those people that are fighting. Okay, well, how do I do that? Well, I think one of the things we do is we don't choose sides. 
In fact, you'll notice this in the very beginning. He says, I entreat Euodia and I entreat Syntyche. So Paul doesn't treat, choose sides. He entreats both of them the same amount. Um, why do I not want to choose sides? Well, here's the reason. Because it doesn't really matter who's right or wrong, right? What matters is that we give God, God the glory. That's what matters. So what should a true companion do? A sh true companion should remind those who are fighting, hey, remember who your God is. Remember what he's done for you. Remember what the Lord has done. Look at God. Stop looking at one another. That's what we should be doing. So um, our mission, just like what Jesus's mission was, should be to actually focus others and ourselves on the Lord. That was his mission. That should be ours too. So we need to help each other look to him right now. All, every, all of us need Jesus right now, okay? Unbelievers, believers, your moms, dads, brothers, sister, we all need Jesus right now. So that's where I'm going to end. Hey, I hope this was encouraging to you. Um, I want to remind you to you know, share this video with your friends and, and everybody you can. And hey, I've got a quick challenge for you. Uh, there are three different bobbleheads in this video. If you can, in the comments, name all three of them who they are, uh, then I'll uh, sh give you a shout out in the next devotion video and I'll, uh, I'll give you a prize as well. Guaranteed to be a coronavirus free prize. Um, guys, I hope this has been encouraging to you. Listen, we love you. Your church is here for you. If you need anything, please call us. Um, God bless. We'll see you Sunday for our live stream at 1030 a.m. and 6 p.m. for our live stream of Youth Rally. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hang in there. We love you. Bye.